Right, fish and chips in 10. So beautiful, so fresh. Lay away from you. Put it in. That is what I call crisp. Look at the color of those. Time please, time please. 30 seconds left. Three, Wait. two, now then people, so today's video is vegan fish and chips in 10 minutes. That's right, I'm gonna be trying to make vegan fish and chips in 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it, but it's inspired by this guy. Thank you, look at that batter. Knock off that flour. This is so beautiful, so fresh. That is what I call crisp. Look at the color of those. There's a few key things that he does to make this work super quick. First of all, he shallow fries rather than deep fries. He's also got a particular batter with both self-raising flour and baking powder, and he does doesn't even bother to parboil his chips. He does all those three hacks and that gives him crispy, fluffy fish and chips. We're making vegan fish and chips in 10 minutes. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, I'm gonna start the timer. Right, there we go. 10 minutes. 10 minutes is fast, man. So we cook on TV a lot, but to cook a whole fish and chips in 10 minutes, that's very fast. Not sure if I can do it. Fingers crossed. Right, first up, over here, we have self-raising flour. Now to that self-raising flour, I'm gonna add some beer. You could even use some cider, if you wish, and just get a whisk, and whisk that all together. That beer is gonna give extra bubbles, which is always a good thing. You know, you'll often find beer batter is a thing when you're having fish and chips. Always a good idea. Now a touch of baking powder is gonna give us even more aeration. And then following Gordon's tips, I'm gonna add some curry powder. Not too much, mind. And the vegan version, we want it to taste fishy, so that's why I'm adding just a little bit of wakame seaweed, which is essentially just gonna add the flavor of the sea. Now I've ground that seaweed powder up super fine, and then I'm just gonna whisk that through the batter. I'm a little bit thin, so I'm gonna add a touch more flour. Try and get the perfect consistency. You want something that's a bit more gloopy because it needs to stick to our tofu. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to add a vegan egg replacer. Now you probably don't really need this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So that is gonna help to thicken this batter even more. So just whisk that together as well. This is basically just a combination of starches that's gonna help the thing stick together, binds together and then add that into the batter. Whisk that together, time is ticking on. Now I've got a bit of flour over here and I'm gonna add a little bit of that curry powder to this flour too. And that is gonna coat our tofu. Now this tofu, let's talk about the tofu for a minute. Obviously we're not using fish, we're trying to cook it super quickly. So you need to slice your tofu both thinly and I also recommend you make these little score lines in your tofu as well. That's gonna help it to kind of flake apart as you bite it. You see that, that looks perfect. Then just pop your tofu into the flour, coat it really well, and then as Gordon did, just kind of throw it in your hands side to side to get rid of any excess flour. This is quick work, how am I doing? Oh my God, three minutes chat already. Okay, this tofu is going into the batter. Just dunk it in there. Dunk that in there super quick. Yeah, cover it completely. And then fish it out, no pun intended. And just drop that bad boy into our oil. Be really careful, obviously this hot oil is super dangerous. Make sure you always drop it away from you. This is a really, really good start, I'm very happy with this. Just baste, use a spoon to baste over this hot oil and cook the top as you cook the bottom. And this tofu, and that batter are looking absolutely perfect. I'm really happy with that. Tongs are the perfect thing to turn it when you need. Let's see how that's looking. Oh, look at that. Golden brown is what we want. We don't want it to be, you know, too brown. Just a little touch, just a light kiss of gold. Now, one thing I didn't mention before is that this tofu was pre-marinated. So it's always good to inject a little bit of flavor into your tofu. I added lemon, white wine, caper brine, and a pinch of salt, and just let the tofu sit there for anywhere from half an hour to two hours to really fully marinate and soak up those flavors. That's gonna give you the flavor of the sea. That's what we're looking for, because we want this to taste fishy. Four minutes, goodness. Right, time is ticking on. That fish is looking perfect, and I'm gonna pop that into the oven. I have a plate with baking paper, and just use some tongs 
to lift that bad boy up, pop these on that baking paper and get that into a warm oven. It's gonna keep it warm. Perfect, now we are ready for our chips. Get these batter things away. Okay, potato. So, this has already been peeled. I'm just gonna cut this super fine. Now, the thinness of these potatoes is gonna be absolutely key to making sure that this cooks in time. So, we're not gonna bother boiling them. We're just gonna blanch them in the oil, which is already hot, and it's already got all those lovely flavors of the fish. Cheap chips, that's what I'm gonna call these. It's not kind of carefully made, fat, lots of attention being paid to them chips. This is chips in a hurry. But although it's not that healthy, it's a great thing to snack on from time to time. So you know, you don't have to get a delivery in. You can whip something together like this super quickly. Now these bad boys are all in. I've got our chips cooking away. Give them a quick stir and then quickly turn that heat up. These are gonna blanch in the cooler heat and then they're gonna warm through and then they're gonna crisp up on the outside. I'll get rid of everything else and the next step is gonna be the tartar sauce. It's really important to kind of keep things clean as you go. It helps you feel in control. Check on our chips, just keep them moving around that pan. I've got the heat up to absolute maximum right now, making sure these chips are gonna cook quickly. Now onto the tartar sauce. We have vegan mayo, a tablespoon of creme fraiche, parsley, then some capers, which have been finely chopped. You know, there's quite a few bits going in here, but it all just gets surrounded perfectly in that lovely, lovely mayo and creme fraiche mix. Now just stir that all together really quickly. You know, I always find that tartar sauce is like my favorite bit of fish and chips. I, I like a lot of tartar sauce on top of the fish. Now, <laughs> I like ketchup as well. I'm just one of those guys that likes sauces, you know? It's just, it's just the way that I am. How are those chips coming along? Well, they're taking a little bit longer than I'd hoped is the answer to that. So at this point in the video, you know, I'm looking at the chips, they're still a little bit white. I can see I'm not gonna make the 10 minutes. This is a real shame. I probably waffled for just a little bit too long at the beginning. You know, maybe it's gonna be vegan fish and chips in 15 minutes. I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's still something of an achievement. After all, I am doing it for two people, not for one. So two people in 15 minutes is better than one person in 10 minutes, right? I'm sure that must be right. Anyway, they're gonna brown. So while they brown, I'm gonna clear the rest of the table to get everything ready. I think we're nearly ready to serve up. Let's see if Ian's ready to eat some fish and chips. Ian, I've got 46 seconds left. I mean, that's 46 seconds in 15 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious me, here we go. Right, so we've got Chip chippies. chippies in there. They are coming along real nice. Yeah, they're kind of definitely turning into that wonderful golden color that you really want from a plate of chips. Exactly, but dude, 15 minutes. It's very good. I was aiming for 10 minutes. Guys, do feel free to uh, noise up Gordon Ramsay and send him this video and let's yeah. get his comments. Yeah, they're looking Pop good. them on that paper. There's a few little fishy scraps on there as well. We've got our fish, let's get a plate. Here we go, there we have our fish. So these chippies, first of all, you wanna get another piece of kitchen towel and then just pat those chips down. Some salt over the top, Nice, good, generous good. pinch of salt. And then we've got our fish before, that's been kept warm in the oven, that's nice and hot. Just grab some chips, they're very hot. It does look very, very good. Doesn't it? it smells good, looks good. I can vouch after that chip that I just meanly robbed. <laughs> very delicious. Um, can I do the aloes with the vinegar? Oh mate, you wanna do some vinegar, absolutely. There is some good amount of vinegar. Mate, class. There you have it. Really good. <laughs> that looks really good. 15 minutes. Mate, uh, should we have a little nibble, nibble, nibble? Let's nibble this right now. Right, Absolutely. First of all, I'm going to get a chip. Uh, a little bit of ketchup on there, why not? Uh, three, two, one. Oh, I need, a f I need a knife and fork. I'll use a spoon. Mm. Tofu is great for you. Tofu is a really good thing to be eating. Mm. It's a very good thing to be eating because it's very, very delicious. <laughs> it's got such a good crunch in it. I always think. Do you know when you used to have fish and chips and you wrapped it up in the paper and then you brought it home and you opened it up and it was a bit soft? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not cool. This is cool because it's crunchy. And you just make it yourself at home? Yes. Super quick. 15 minutes. 15 and a half, maybe, 16. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do cook this yourselves. We would love to see photos of what you've made. Pop your comments down below. Let us know what you thought of the video. Are you disappointed that I couldn't do it in 10 minutes? I'm disappointed. Are you disappointed? Uh, disappointed on the timing, but definitely not <laughs> uh, disappointed on the net result of the actual dish, because it's okay. delicious. Okay, that's delicious. good. 
and uh, I'm just going to carry on eating this stuff. See you guys later. See you on the next video, guys. Peace. Bye.